Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will make an intelligent security webcam using a pre-trained object detection model in JavaScript that can detect objects and play alarm until the thing goes away. TensorFlow.js is a JavaScript library that allows you to build and run machine learning models in the browser. Vue.js is a JavaScript framework that makes it easy to build user interface for our new security camera and allows us to view live video. By combining these two technologies, we can create a security camera that can detect objects, people, or animal without having to set up a server or database. Everything will run from the user's browser. We will use a pre-trained object detection model so we don't have to train our own model. First, let's set up a view.js3 application with Vite. Before we install the packages, we need to update package.json with the, the packages we will use. The first package will be uh, the TensorFlow model coho-ssd. This is a pre-trained object detection TensorFlow.js model. This model uh, can identify multiple objects in a single image. The model is capable of detect 80 classes of objects. And we have TensorFlow.js. This is a TensorFlow.js package. And we have a TensorFlow.js backend CPU. This package implements a JavaScript-based CPU backend to uh, TensorFlow.js. And we have a TensorFlow.js backend uh, WebGL. This package implements a CPU accelerated web uh, GL back, uh, back end for TensorFlow.js. So uh, let's go to the project folder and install the package and test our app. Okay, let's go to our uh, application here. We have an app.view. I have created the template, I added the title and uh, uh, the description and here I just imported uh, all the packages we are going to use uh, tensor.js package and uh, the model and here this is uh, the alarm sound just an mp3 file and here we have the variables we are going to use we have for example here the video that will reference the video element uh, from the template and we have the live view and the section uh, on the screen and we have the audio uh, as well as we have show button this is just to, to toggle between showing the enable cam button when the uh, model is loaded and we have cam started okay here we have a lit model uh, equal undefined to know if the model loaded or not so we can change the value of show button to let the user see the enable webcam button. Okay, and we here, here we have uh, the Google SSD dot load function loads the, the, the model. And we have the enable cam function enables the web cam after the model is loaded and starts the prediction load loop of the TensorFlow.js model. First, we checked if the model is loaded, and then we change the cam start value to be true. And we started to use the camera, and we stream. Uh, um, the, the feed of the camera actually and uh, we and we add a listener to our uh, video element uh, to feed the prediction webcam function that we will create later so we can predict uh, what is on the screen
Okay, we can now add the camera section here. This is the section. It will be showing when we enable the camera. Uh, and we have here the video elements and the button to enable the camera, uh, as well as uh, the audio uh, source and uh, uh, the place uh, for uh, showing the production. The production webcam function classifies a frame in the webcam stream and plays the alarm sound if the if a person is detected. Uh, the two variable uh, is a reactive variable that is used to store the list of DOM elements that are displayed on the screen. And uh, the four loops are used to loop through the predictions and create DOM elements for each prediction. The if statement are used to, to check the, st the score of each prediction and the detect determine uh, whether to play the alarm sound or not. The window to request animation frame uh, function is used to call the predict uh, webcam function repeatedly so that the prediction are updated in real time. And here is a style for our uh, HTML elements. Here is a, just a quick uh, style. We could make a smart webcam that can detect things and take action depending on what the camera sees. We use a pre-trained machine learning model that's open source and free, which saves us money and time. Finally, I hope that was useful for you. And please like and subscribe if that was useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.